Is it really possible to track someone's phone when you've only got their phone number? Let's find out. Right, I'm gonna need a couple of things to get this experiment on the way. And the first one is getting a SIM only solution or a burner phone, something with no contract, but still got data and allows me to make and receive phone calls. Now that I have that, we can get going. There are plenty of websites who promise that this is possible. And there are plenty of websites that claim that you can track a phone's location with just the IMEI number. So I'm gonna test these sites and see if they work or are they complete scams. Let's first try find this phone's location with just its new phone number. Right, this is the first site we're gonna try. Do you want to track a cell phone location by a number? The best phone number tracker. Okay, sounds good. Let's see if it actually delivers. So let's put in our telephone number right here and then let's click on the locate button. Okay, something's happening. The carrier, the country, the time zone, the city is Texas. Texas is not a city, but anyway, location found. And look at this, what you get on your trial version. You get a full report on the number, you get a whole bunch of different things that are actually included, and it is only 89 cents as your trial. Okay, now what? Well, I guess it wants an email address, so let's stick one in there and let's click on continue. And now, all right, payment methods, fine. But look at this, it is a one day trial for 89 cents. But then of course, we have to look at the fine print. Always look at the fine print because it says it's going to be upgraded to a one month premium subscription at $49 after your 24 hour trial. But don't just think you can get away with 89 cents or whatever that number is, because if you look at the terms and condition, it says at the end of the 24 hours, you're subject to the automatically renewal on a monthly basis. Sounds fine, after 24 hours it renews, but look at this. Subscription automatically renews unless auto renewal is turned off at least 24 hours before the end of the current subscription month. Uh, I'm no mathematician or a lawyer, but unless I'm uh, misunderstanding this, how exactly do you give 24 hour notice on an account that you've just set up for one day, which is 24 hours? So just to make sure I'm not misunderstanding this, I hit the contact us on their webpage where I promptly wrote a nice little email asking to confirm that I'm not gonna be charged anything extra. I promptly received an email back saying we've successfully received your request, which has now been processed by our team, along with a ticket ID. Yeah, so we're off to a rocking start. And whilst we wait for a response, let's try another website. Okay, on to site number two, locateanumber.com. Let's just scroll down and see what we're working with on this particular website. Our system is working with the same features that are used by law enforcement and private agencies to track mobile phones. Mm, okay, fine. It is possible to know its approximate location. Well, yep, that's why we're on this website. So let's click on the locate button. And now it wants us to enter the telephone number that we want to locate. So let's do that. And then let's click on the locate button. This is like a, like a terminal window, successfully connected to the satellite, importing AES-256 key. Yeah, that is an encryption key. Fine, open SSL encryption server. I mean, this is just like, whatever, waffle, waffle, waffle. Okay, your GPS coordinates were successfully generate. Let's just scroll down. Okay, your number has been located. To verify that you're a human, you gotta accept these two offers. Uh, red alert, red flags, red flags. Okay, but just for funsies so that you don't have to do it. Let's, um, yeah, no, let's do one of them. Let's click on this installing. Oh, look at that, potential phishing attempt. Yeah, this is shaping out to be so good so far. All right, let's go back. Let's do another one. Enter your details to win $500. I don't know. Let's just choose one of these. Rewards, $750 into your account. Uh, let's go back to the site. Well, now we've done these two offers and checking for completion. Mm. Yeah, all right. So it just sits there and spins and spins and spins. <laughs> well, that's a total scam. Highly recommend not installing anything from a phishing site but that's just me. My guess is that they make their money by getting people to click on those links and those offers to prove that you are a human. 
Uh, still no reply from the first website. So in the meantime, whilst we wait, let's shift gears and let's see if you can track this phone using its IMEI number. So what is an IMEI number? Well, it's a 15 digit identification number unique to your device. It identifies your device and its specifications, such as the model, manufacturer, and software versions. And law enforcement has used the IMEI number to track a device within a few feet. So the IMEI number seems to be much more promising than trying to track a phone via a cell phone number. Oh, and it's a good idea to actually know your own IMEI number and write it down somewhere. And you can do it by going to your phone dialer and then basically writing the star hash zero six hash or number. If law enforcement uses this, perhaps IMEI tracking sites may be better luck. Let's first make sure that the IMEI number does actually work, and I'm using this website to do that, and it identifies the phone as the Galaxy S22 Ultra 5G, which is correct. Now, let's take it into the first website, trackimei.net, and let's see if it's able to find my phone. Please wait, we are trying to search for your device. Let's scroll further down. Oh, there we go. Please enter your details first to track your device. And it says report theft. Well, it's not actually stolen, but let's do that. I clicked on report theft. And what does it want for my life? Oh, good. It wants me to enter all this personal information to register my phone as lost or stolen. Hell no. All right, let's try website number two, imei-tracker.com forward slash track. Does this look familiar? Like we've almost seen this before when trying to track a number? So let's fast forward this bit just to give it the benefit of the doubt and see what happens. Right, look at that. Yeah, device has been located. Get your phone's position. Click on that. And wow, definitely seen this one before. More scams. Who would have thought? So before I show you a legit and a legal way to actually track a phone, let me quickly check back and see if we've got any reply from that scanner O website. All right, still the original two emails. The first one is an email saying basically how to sign up and how to use the system and how it actually works. And the second email is the one we saw earlier. That's the one that's got the ticket ID. And they do say that our teams will provide response within approximately two or three business days. Well, that was four days ago. But I will keep checking. And if anything changes by the time this comebacks from editing, I will obviously update this. Well, I'm certainly not gonna give them my credit card number. So let's do some Googling and see what other people have found. Right, I put the website in quotation marks to see if somebody else has written about it. And I see a whole bunch of YouTube videos. So let's go see those. And let's go down into the comments and see what people are saying. Okay, cost is $49.80 per month. Okay, so that already confirms that. Let's scroll further down on the comments and see what else. Yeah, it says 89 cents for 24 hours and they charge me 49.80. Here's another one. They start with 89 and then they charge 39. All right, so that's exactly what we feared. Here's another website reviewing um, scannero.io. And again, complete scam. And this is repeated again and again and again. The big problem here is that those people have agreed to the terms and conditions, which as you saw, was pretty clear about giving that 24 hour notice. So you will have a pretty hard time arguing with the bank that this is fraud. While some banks may be pretty cool about this and give you your money back, others are gonna chat with the website owner who will prove that you agree to it. And then I guess you're gonna be shit out of luck. Uh, this is me editing this video. As promised, I checked in the email and it's been 15 days and still not a single word. So I did give them an opportunity to respond. Unfortunately, the customer support sucks just as badly. Four sites, two of them using the phone number and two of them using the IMEI number. And the result is absolutely zero phones were tracked. But there is actually a legit and legal way to track a phone with this. Right, if you're a smart and you have an Android phone, you go to Google, you type find my device and it will find all your devices that are linked to your account. And if you click on any of them, it can actually give you the location of that device. Apple also has something like that, iCloud.com forward slash find. And again, it will find your devices. 
Now, in both cases, you have to be logged into the account that the device is linked to. And the idea is that you can track your own phone in case you lose it or in case it gets stolen and then you can track it and in fact, lock it down. Now, technically, an argument can be made for you to be able to track someone else's phone and I'll show you how in this video, but before you head out, give this video a quick thumbs up to like it and I wanna see you in this video. Let's go.